Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my knitting and crafting adventures. Today we are wrapping up summer sock camp for 2021. So this was our second annual summer sock camp. It was so much fun. I thoroughly enjoyed seeing the growth from last year, the 2020 summer sock camp to the 2021 summer sock camp. I'll go over the numbers as we go for uh, the differences between the first year and the second year. It is pretty mind blowing. We had so many changes and different things happen like VIP campers and all of these amazing fun opportunities for people to really connect more with other knitters, which is something that is my favorite thing about summer sock camp is seeing other knitters come together connect with each other, make friends. It's such an amazing, amazing experience. Um, and of course, seeing all of the socks being knit, people learning socks for the first time or learning new techniques, branching out and trying a different heel or a different method of knitting socks. It is so fun. So I hope if you participated that you had a great time with Summer Sock Camp. If you're new, I hope that you will join us next year because I am planning on doing summer sock camp again. So this video, we're wrapping it up. We're mid September already, but it, it did take me a, get to, a bit to get all of the prizes organized into prize packs, draw all the winners. It's been a busy, busy time in our life lately and with such a huge knit along, it did take a couple of weeks to get everything in order and ready to go. So we're just gonna go through the different cabins. Um, there's also the Instagram, and I'm gonna let you guys know the numbers for camp, um, as far as how many entries were in the finished object threads. And then also I will put up a slide as we go through the cabins for each cabin that will have the prize winners on it. I will let you know how to contact me. It is very, very, very important <laughs> that you pay close attention to how you are supposed to contact me depending on if you are a Ravelry or Instagram winner. You have to contact me correctly to claim your prize. I have to be able to keep track of things. So if you don't contact me in the correct manner, I can't keep track of things. So please, please, please pay attention if your name pops up um, as far as how you are supposed to get in touch with me to claim that prize. I do have physical prizes that I myself am mailing out. There's a couple physical prizes that shops are mailing out. We have, I think we have one gift certificate. We have quite a few. I think we have 56 pattern prizes, which is mind blowing. I think total, let me double check between like the prizes that I'm mailing out. We have 142 prizes total. That includes the ones I'm mailing are digital prizes and then some like gift certificates or things that other makers are sending out themselves. That is insane. That is an insane amount of prizes. You should see the large tote <laughs> that I have over here. I went through and sorted, put everything in bags, like as far as what the prizes are. If you're getting a physical prize from me, it is, everything is yarn plus something else. Whether that something else is a bag or progress keepers, a sock ruler, needles. We had so many things donated. So I had plenty to be able to put a skein of yarn or a sock set or something like that with something else. I have 74 prizes, prize packs in that tote to send out. That's crazy. So crazy. Okay, so let's get to it. First, I'm going to give you the total amounts of posts and then we'll break it down as we go through each cabin and I put up the slide with the prize winners for those cabins. So <clears throat> these are for the Ravelry threads. We had four cabins in Ravelry. DPN, Magic Loop, Wild Card, and Nine Inch. Total for 2020 in all four of those threads, finished object threads, 
in 2020, there was 2,479 entries. Keep in mind, people can enter twice, but that is how many posts there were in the finished object threads for all of the cabins last year. This year, total in all four cabins, 9,608 entries. There were 7,129 more entries this year than last year. Can you guys believe that? When I sat down to start doing, like putting all this in my notebook and figuring up the differences between the years, my mind was blown, absolutely blown. That summer slot camp has grown so much in one year that we had so many more people coming together in this community to knit socks for camp. That is, there's no other word. It's mind blowing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how many entries there were overall in the Ravelry threads, 9,608 finished object entries. So we'll go through, um, just as I have them here in the order. So our DPN cabin, they were definitely, no, I was going to say that, well, they were the, the least amount of finished object entries for this year, but they were pretty close with the wild card cabin. So our DPN cabin from last year, 464 finished object posts this year 1305 so we had 841 more entries this year than last year in our dpn cabin that is awesome as you guys know i bounce around and i do all of them and i love when i see people at the very least trying dpns because i think so many people get so intimidated by them all right i'm going to put the slide up right here with the winners for the DPN cabin. If you can pause this, look through this list, see if you see your Ravelry name, because that is where this is coming from. If you are a winner for our DPN cabin, please message me on Ravelry. Do not email me, do not Instagram message me, it has to be through Ravelry. Message me and then I will let you know if I need your address or if I, need you to pick a pattern prize or that you've won a pattern prize. And then I will, if it's that, I will have the designer get that out to you. That's the easiest way. Instead of me going through all 142 prizes, <laughs> showing them, announcing winners, all of that, um, that would take forever. So this is how we're going to do it. Just the slide is up. Please message me on Ravelry if your name is on this list. Let me know that you have won a prize for the DPN cabin. That is important as well. Say I am a winner for the DPN cabin. How do I claim my prize? And then I will get the information that I need from you. Um, I will say as well, all winners will have, hmm, how long should we do to claim prizes? Because I know it could take a while. Let's say you have a month from the date this video goes up. And if I have not heard from winners by then, I will start redrawing for other winners. So one month is what you will have to claim for any of these prizes for Summer Sock Camp. All right, our Magic Loop cabin. This is for sure the most popular <laughs> cabin. Last year in 2020, we had 1,214 finished object entries. This year we had 4,287. So 3,073 more entries this year than last year for the Magic Loop cabin. Pretty crazy. Definitely, it's the one that I see done the most with knitting socks is Magic Loop for sure. All right, I'm going to put this slide up with our winners for the Magic Loop cabin. Same thing. This is on Ravelry, so you have to message me on Ravelry. I will have my Ravelry linked below. I am the Crazy Sock Lady. If you are in the Crazy Sock Lady group, you should be able to easily find me on there and send me a private message. Um, just let me know, Hey, I want a prize in the magic loop cabin. What do I need to do to claim that prize? And again, I will let you know if I need address or you pick a, 
a prize from the designer. I'll send you the information um, and let you know what I need. Okay, wild card cabin. This one was pretty close this year with the DPN cabin. Last year we had the least amount of entries um, for the wild card cabin with 159. This year we had 1,318, so 1,159 more this year than last year. I think, I'm just gonna say, I think a lot of it was due to more people trying socks on two circulars. That was something that I completely fell in love with this year and is now in my rotation of how, because I bounce around all the different methods that I know and this is now in my rotation because I loved it so very much. So I think a lot of you at the very least gave it a try and I know so many of you have said the same thing. You don't know why you never tried it before, you love it, and now it's in your rotation for knitting socks. I'm gonna put this slide up here for our wildcard cabin winners. Same thing, it's on Ravelry, so please send me a Ravelry message letting me know that you are a wild card cabin prize winner and I will let you know what information I need to get from you. Our last cabin is the nine inch circular cabin, one of my favorites, and it definitely grew quite a bit from last year to this year for the nine inch. Last year we had 642 entries for finished objects. This year we had 2,698 entries. So 2,056 more entries from last year to this year. That's pretty good, pretty nice. So again, same thing, putting the slide up here. If you are a winner, Ravelry message me. Again, reminder, please do not email me or Instagram message me. For these, if you are a Ravelry winner, you have to Ravelry message me. <laughs> That was a lot. Um, just let me know you're a winner for the nine inch circular cabin and I will let you know what info I need from you to claim that prize. Okay, our last one, those were all of our cabins for Ravelry. This year, we also did some Instagram prizes. Any posts that had the hashtag Summer Stock Camp 2021 were eligible for that. Y'all, there were over 10,000 posts, over 10,000 with that hashtag. <laughs> totally crazy. Go look at that, all the socks. Like it's just all the socks. It's so fun to go look through there, the socks that people have knit. And I always get so many good ideas looking, whether it's on Ravelry through the threads or hashtag, it's just such a fun way to go look at some different socks. So over 10,000 posts. I'll put the slide up here for our Instagram winners. With this, you have to email me. I know maybe that's confusing. Ravelry, you have to Ravelry message me. Instagram winners, you have to email me. That is because the Instagram messages, y'all, they're a mess to keep track of. If you are, are someone who gets quite a few of them in, they get buried. It's hard to find them again. Like it is a mess. So please email me at summersockcamp at gmail.com. Keeping those in the Summer Sock Camp email so that they're easy to find, easy to track. I can save them in a folder in case I need to go back and do anything with them. It'll be much easier for me to keep track of. So Instagram winners, email me, summersockcamp at gmail.com. Let me know you are an Instagram winner and I will let you know again what I need from you. Like I'll send you the link and say, hey, pick a, pri pick a pattern prize from this designer, or I'll say, hey, give me your address so I can send you your prize. Okay, I think that's it. All right, that's it for our prize winners. How many socks did y'all finish for camp? Let me know in the comments below. I finished, started and finished um, between June 1st and the end of August, 17 pairs of socks. There were a couple other ones that I finished during the summer, but they were started before June 1st. And then there were a couple others that I started and never finished, <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, that was the total that I ended up with was 17 pairs of socks. Some of that was due to the fact that I discovered my love for knitting DK weight socks and those go a lot quicker. So that was some of the ones that got snuck in there, DK weight, because they go very fast. If you have not tried them yet, I highly recommend it. 
Um, great for winter weather, I think. I can't wait for colder weather to try them. They're my first pair of DK weight socks. All right, I think that is it for wrapping up Summer Sock Camp. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Summer Sock Camp this year. Thank you to all of our prize donors. I showed them as they came in on the podcast throughout the lead up to camp and throughout camp, we had them coming in as well. Um, so those were shown on regular podcast episodes and I, those prizes would not be, we would not have that many prizes if it was not for the generosity of so many small businesses, um, designers, just so many of you jumping in and donating prizes that has made that such an amazing possibility to give so many people prizes. So awesome of y'all. So thank you again. Congratulations to all of our winners. And I will see you guys again soon. Summer Sock Camp 2022. It's for sure happening. Details will come as we get closer. We still have quite a ways to go and I have quite a bit to figure out and get in line for next year. <laughs> but I can't wait. I'm already excited thinking about it. And I hope that y'all are too. So thank you again. Until next time, happy knitting. Bye.